Good evening and welcome. Well, welcome back to the business day. Let's start off with some company news before we head to your gas prices. Local fuel retailer Future Energy Source Company Fesco is reporting a higher profit of one hundred and forty eight point three seven million dollars for its first quarter ended June 2024. In the comparative period in 2023, the company says it made $115.74 million in post-tax earnings. Fesco says its performance in the three months was supported by higher revenues of $7.78 billion, an 18.56% increase compared to the $6.56 billion made last year. This was linked to inflows from strategic investments in the previous quarter and an increase in fuel sales. Fesco says it has started construction of its service station on Spanish Town Road, dubbed Fesco Oval. The company says completion is expected in the next 15 months in order to meet the deadline set for the third quarter. That's September 2025. And gas prices are going down this week. Some good news there for motorists. Effective Thursday, each liter of 87.90 gasoline will sell for $2.26 less. 31 cents will be shaved off the cost of diesel, while ultra low sulfur diesel will fall by 21 cents. A dollar six cents will be shaved off each liter of kerosene, while propane will go for two dollars five cents more. Two dollars 23 cents will be added to the cost of butane. Each gas station will make these adjustments to their prices, which include the X refinery rate offered by Petrojam. And local gas prices are set based on the US Gulf reference rate. So no need to rush to the gas station today. Pharmaceutical company Arway Williams listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange's junior market on Wednesday. The company raised $400 million. Now, the offer, which was oversubscribed by 8.25%, closed on July 31. Andre Gooden is the business development manager at the JSE. over $22.1 billion. $10.5 billion has been raised from IPOs during the start, since the start of 2024. Ari Williams will be the 48th company listed on the junior market and the 105th company representing 156 securities listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. This total market capitalization of the company it's two billion and will increase the market capitalization of the junior market to over 143 billion and the overall market capitalization now as 1.77 trillion dollars. To the markets now, the Jamaican dollar has hit a new record low compared to the U.S. currency. Now, at the close of trading today, one American dollar was being sold for an average $158.75 Jamaican. This is the highest average selling rate for the greenback compared to the local currency on record. Now, the last record was set just six days ago on August 22 at $158.50. Now, as for the other benchmarks, the Canadian dollar is going for $118.17. $208.78 is the average value of the pound, while the euro is trading for $175.97. And the JSC index advanced by 4,055 points today, while the Juno market index increased by 8 points. Among the 44 winners were 138 Student Living Jamaica Variable Preference Shares, Guardian Holdings, The Lab, Elite Diagnostic and Innovative Energy Group, now, the 41 losers were led by the company which listed today, R.A. Williams Distributors, and they actually saw a decline in their stock by 22% to 78 cents. The next loser was Margaritaville Turks, U.S. dollar shares. Slada Foods Jamaica was next. Epley 7.5% shares due 2024 and Blue Power Group. 22 stocks traded firm. And that's the business day. Please stay with us. Regional and international news, that's right after the break.